Yo guys, back from another video with Man, and today guys, as the title suggests of the video, we'll be doing how to play Stu tips from a pro, which is me, if you didn't already know guys. Um, so as you can see, I already have Stu at rank 25, he's one of my top three favourite rulers to use, so I'll be showing you tips and tricks of different mechanics you may not have seen about Stu, star powers and gadgets, how to use them, and the maps that he's best on. So without further ado guys, let's get into it. Rule number, Rule number one. one is what star powers and gadgets to pick. Now, speed zone, Stu drops a booster that makes himself his teammates and other allies faster, one side of the air effect. This is good when there's not much walls and there's one little wall that's very good at blocking um, the gadget and it basically, there's no throwers against you. Now breakthrough is the preferred gadget of the two. Um, this is good because it can break open the middle walls in Brawl Ball so you can have a clean shot at goal from a further distance and not having to hook around the center of the goal. This is good at getting damage advantages on the brawlers. Um, so let's head on to the star powers. The first star power is Zero Drags, Stu's Nitro Boost, Super dra Dash Distance increased by 70%. Now this is good for a starter, so then you can, this is good for escaping Mortis, Edgar, all those kind of tanks that want to get on top of you. This is good escaping them, um, but not very spammable. Now the one that I would use is Gata Heal. Um, restoring 400 health, man, it's just a no-brainer really. It's so much more useful than Zero Drag, because you can spam it more often because it, you can use your supers. Well, they, they happen quicker, really. Um, so let's head on to rule number two. Now, rule number one is playing conservative. Stu is an assassin, as we know. He's not a very conservative brawler. He just goes in and goes out. Now, as you can see what I'm doing, I'm playing conservative, just chipping away to get my super once you guys get your super. Just absolutely go mayhem. The next rule is to auto your super. Now, the way you can do this is by facing the right way. Um, when auto-aiming, because whatever way you're facing when you use your super is the way that you're going to move. Um, so you, if you can move around quickly, then basically your super will move the way you're facing, making it a lot easier than just have to aim around. That takes a lot more time and a delay, and you're probably not going to win the 1v1 by then, so it's just a lot easier to auto-aim it. The next rule is how to use two supers in one stew attack. Now, the way to do this is pretty complicated, really. Um, you, have to you have to be very good at timing. So we have to do, um, the way to do this is to actually fire super projectiles, they hit at different times. Um, I'll have different like, different parts of footage that I actually managed to pull this off. I can just pull it off in training cave pretty easily. Um, it's pretty easy trying to pull off your, um, basically a double dash in a single shot. This really helps because that means you can move further, not waste one ammo for one dash and then you're not going to get as far with Stu. The way to do this is you attack first and then you dash as soon, like it's really about timing. It's about, like see just there. It's about attacking, about, it's, about, well, it's about dashing at the exact time that it hits because the second um, projectile, or axe in my case, because this is a skin for Stu, will hit after. So it's about really just timing it, not just getting those singular dashes that don't really do much. The final rule is what map Stu is good on and how to play him in those maps. The first map is Wackerel Brawl. Now this map is generally played by throwers, so it's perfect for Stu. So once you get a can play conservative, get a super, then you can just quickly dash around a wall and get a cube from getting a thrower kill. The next map, the best map for Stu is Double Trouble. This is the one you want to push most on. There are a bit of long range brawls on this, but the reason why it's as good is the two by two and two by three walls. That's good because that is the exact distance that Stu's dash is lengthwise, so it's perfect. The next map is Hot Maze, same with Rico. A lot of walls, perfect for wall bouncing, probably not the most strong map for Stu, but once you get to that center part, you can use those mini cactuses as little um, wall breaks for your super and people won't expect it. The next map is Erratic bro Blocks. This is good because there's a perfect amount of walls and the max distance between these walls is like roughly Stu's range. So it's perfect. You're not gonna have like long range in it because they're not gonna be able to in like they're not gonna be able to show their full range in this map. That's why this is great for Stu and walls. And the final map is Eye of the Storm. This is good as well because it has the 2x2 two two and 2x3 two walls, really. And guys, that around the video. Wow, that was a good video, guys. I hope you took all that into consideration about this too. It's a bit of a short video. But uh, tomorrow we'll be bringing you a Pixagon Gun Game Challenge Part 2. I know you guys have been waiting for a while for that one. Um, but yeah, subscribe to Gus at Aldro. Subscribe to myself because we are past 250 subs. Still working on the ranch, as I said um, in the previous few videos. But guys, that around the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in another video tomorrow, guys. Goodbye.